excitement here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Ajax facing young boys. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, certain players just know instinctively how to lead a line, and Sebastian Allaire falls in that category. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, three goals in his last games, Derek, breeds confidence in a player. The defenders will be watching him like a hawk. Well, here's the starting lineup for Ajax. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Tagliafico. Ryan Grafenberg. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, I do, Derek. I really do. It's a brave way of playing, though, away from home. It just shows the confidence the coach has in this group of players. Jean-Pierre Nsam. Elia. Sandro Lauper. Oh, good use of the ball. Wonderful tackle. Klassen. Ryan Grafenberg. No high quality defending. Christian Fasnacht. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. It's with Fasnacht. It's opening up for them. Sandro Lauper. And Lefort with it. Lauper. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Ebischer. On the ball, Lustenberger. Lustenberger. Lauper. Lustenberger. On the ball, Lustenberger. 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 Lauper still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it Sandro Lauper Ebisha Elia and he read it well Klassen. Tadic. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Galamu showing teamwork and commitment. Daily Blint.
Alvarez now. Edson Alvarez. Aller. Could take the lead. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here we see it again, Derek. He's just unaware there's people around him and he loses it too easily. Then it's catch-up and they can't recover. Terrible goal to concede. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Sebastian Aller. Klassen. Aller. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. That is that for the first half here. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. Boy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Galamu. And Lefort with it. Rustenberger. Ebisha. Jean Pierre and Sam. Sandro Lauper Galamu Well they're eyeing that final pass you just feel Lauper Galamu Jean-Pierre and Sam Ebisha Sandro Lauper. They've won back possession. And well, he was in the right place to intercept. Jean Pierre and Sam. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Just the challenge that was required. Could be a chance to break here. Tadic. Will it be? Is it going to be? Aller. It's there for him. Superb save from the keeper. Well, that's what you're paying for. Defenders defend, goalkeepers make saves like that. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And firing it into the area. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now.
Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box. And then it's a good headed finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So 2-0 now. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Rustenberger. Hefty. Jordan Lefort. Sandro Lauper. And Lefort with it. Lauper. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, it all counts for naught. Sebastian Aller. Really nice ball. He's in behind the defence here. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And time for the change now. Hefty. Ebisha. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Mohamed Kudus. Now, can they create something? And they have possession again. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.